A Fit of Rhyme Against Rhyme by Ben Johnson Rhyme the rack of finest wits that expresseth but by fits true conceits, spoiling senses of their treasure, cousining judgment with a measure but false weight. Resting words from their true calling, propping verse for fear of falling to the ground, jointing syllables, drowning letters, fastening vowels as with fetters they were bound. Soon as lazy thou wert known, all good poetry hence was flown and art banished. For a thousand years together all Panas's green did wither and wit vanished. Pegasus did fly away at the wells, no muse did stay, but bewailed so to see the fountain dry, and Apollo's music die, all light failed. Starving rhymes did fill the stage, not a poet in an age worth crowning, not a work deserving bays, not a line deserving praise, Pallas frowning. Greek was free from rhyme's infection, happy Greek by this protection was not spoiled, Whilst the Latin queen of tongues is not yet free from rhymer's wrongs, but rests foiled. Scarce the hill again doth flourish, scarce the world a wit doth nourish to restore Phoebus to his crown again, and the muses to their brain as before. Vulgar languages that want words and sweetness and be scant of true measure, tyrant rhyme hath so abused that they long since have refused other caesure. He that first invented thee, may his joints tormented be, cramped for ever. Still may syllables jar with time, still may reason war with rhyme resting never. May his sense, when it would meet the cold tumour in his feet, grow unsounder, and his title be long fool, that in rearing such a school was the founder.